Radical reaction inhibitors, or simply radical inhibitors, are compounds that react with chain cation radicals, thereby removing those chain cation radicals and inhibiting our radical reaction. So let's begin by looking at the general case of our inhibition reaction. So let's begin with some chain cation radicals shown with the R and a single electron attached to the R. And let's add an inhibitor shown with an X with a single electron. Now what happens is these two electrons on these compounds interact. They approach one another forming a covalent bond, a sigma bond, in an exothermic fashion. So energy is released and we form the following sigma bond. Notice that in the product side, on the product side, we have no chain carrying radicals. In other words, we remove all the chain carrying radicals from our radical reaction with this inhibitor. And that means since we no longer have our chain carrying radicals, our radical reaction is inhibited. So let's look at one particular example. Let's use this chain cation radical shown here and let's use a specific example for our inhibitor. Let's use hydroquinone. Hydroquinone has the following structure. We have a benzene ring and we have two hydroxy groups attached to opposing carbons. So in the first step of this inhibition reaction, we have a single electron in the bond between the O and the H reacts with this electron, and the same exact thing happens on the bottom, with the bottom hydroxy group. And we form the following intermediates. So we have removed our chain carrying radicals and formed RH and RH. Now what happens to this radical molecule? Notice we have an electron on this oxygen and a single electron on this oxygen. What happens is these electrons rearrange in such a way to form the following final product. So this single electron interacts with one of the electrons in this pi bond forming a double oxygen carbon bond. The same exact thing happens on the bottom. We have an electron found on this oxygen interacting with an electron in the pi bond forming this double bond. And then the two electrons left over, one in this pi bond and the second one in the lower pi bond, they interact to form a third pi bond between the carbon and carbon. So we go from the following hydroquinone to these two products and notice that we began with chain carrying radicals shown here and we ended with simple neutral non-radical compounds. So this is one particular uh, example of radical reaction inhibitors.